us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphius, and I have a special guest today! It's not Ron, it's someone new. Who are you? Hello, everybody! Welcome to the channel! I am your co-host, Bess Trugan! What's up, Bess Trugan is here, and he decided, he's like, Hey, look at this, I have a thousand toys, Halo Master Chief, Mjolnir Mark V! And I said, you know what? You know, unbox this guy together so we know what is going on. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm yes, excited I'm too. Excited We're to gonna here. look up paint detail, articulation kill, and scale, and accessories. But you know where you can get this guy at? www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Frank is gonna be running this show. I'm just gonna help him move along. And I'm excited. This is his figure. I want to know what he thinks about it. I'll tell you what I think about it. But let's just stop talking, right? We're talking too much. <laughs> let's go to the top cam. Frankie, take this guy. Unbox this guy. I'm psyched. Let's go. All right. Top in the Ooh, box cam. That's can. right. So yeah. we're looking at the camera up there. Let's go that way, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me help you out. There he is. That's true. Can and you I'm excited? About I this? am excited. Oh I just got him and just just ready to whoa, pull him whoa, out. Whoa, whoa. So let's look at the box real quick. Uh, looks like we have uh, directed by. Oh, so this is all the creators of this this figure. We I believe so. Right here. Yep. And so let's push this aside right there, my friend. Ooh, Ooh there he is, That's the Master see. Chief. There he is. So sad. In all his glory, the Chief himself. All right. So let's uh, adjust the camera right here. Let's get some more light on the front right there. Ooh, my look, friend. Look at this let's guy. Talk. Let's look at him. Let's look at him. Ooh, look at the Master Chief armor. Look at the detail on it. They yeah. did a good job. Thousand toys. Clean lines, smooth paint. Yeah. Um. Wow. Let's look here. Let's look at the face. Of course, we gotta look at the face. Oh, yep. With the gold that. visor right there. That's that signature Master Chief. Yeah. Halo One mask. Yeah, yep. I like it. I like it a lot. The mask looks very good. How's the paint? How's the how's the paint feel? The paint is it feels really durable. I mean, very like dur like metallic feel. Yeah, like I don't think the paint will chip or anything like that. Is he it's heavy? Really solid. And he's got a good weight to him. He's a good weight to him. Yeah. I thought I thought he would be heavier. I thought he'd be more. No, yeah. Let me, let me tell if you. If you feel it, yeah, it's like whoa. I thought he would be lighter. Actually, yeah, wow, he's, he's got... actually quite a hefty guy. Whoa, that uh, that Mjolnir Mark. Mark V? Which is kind of accurate to the video game. I mean, yeah, he's you gotta go, seven you gotta to go. eight tall, and my armor makes him. Yeah. Whoa, That's that is kinda... nice. So we got some hefty armor. Love the clean lines. The paint detail looked very good. I cannot find any paint defects. Can you, my friend? No, not everything right. looks smooth. Clean. No, nothing. No, nothing. Wrong. Pouches look. on the belly right there look, look really nice. Let's go deep into that. I'm pretty sure that's where he keeps all his armor. Yeah. I mean, his armor. His oh, ammo. His ammo, his magazines, yeah. and whatnot. Very nice. Okay, let's, last but not least, let's look at the feet. They're pretty Looking good. Solid, man. Is, is he, he's, he doesn't have any metal parts. I no. honestly thought he would, but he seems really heavy. It's just like really tough plastic that they yeah. use. Yeah. Like really durable, really heavy plastic. Right. So far, I have to say, paint detail looks fantastic. This looks just like Master Chief. I mean, if you're expecting different types of greens and whatnot, I don't, I don't think that, that would take it too far. I think this is exactly what you're looking for. That awesome, like, olive green. Uh, OD green and it looks really nice. It really does have the Halo One feel to it. Mm -hmm. It's it's like taking it from the game and just putting it on the shelf. It's like yeah, nice. It's nice ripping it right out of your TV mm -hmm. and uh, putting it on your shelf. All right. So is there anything else you want to say in terms of paint detail, my friend? Yeah, it, it's solid. Yeah, it's a solid yep. figure. Um, ten out of ten in my book. Yes, yeah, I've always wanted. I've always wanted a Master yeah. Chief, especially on a uh, one twelve scale. Yes, this is finally something we've been waiting for. A very premium, uh, very articulated, which we will get into next. Uh, Master Chief. I think this one's it. But before we come up with a conclusion, let's jump into articulation and scale. Let's take out that signature yellow ruler. Let's see how tall he's standing. All Frankie, right. take it away with he the scale. Is about yep seven. Ooh, he's a big guy. Yeah, over seven inches. Yeah. So yeah, accurately in the game, he is just taller just because, you know, he's like a superior being, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's see how he stands with other action figures. I'm going to pass it over here. Who are we looking at here? Here's this the... is also Frankie's action figure. <laughs> Look. Whoa, he's taller than Dante. And as he's supposed to be. I mean, Whoa. he's really tall. This is There's... the Thousand Toys Dante. 
and yeah, it, Are you that, pretty it happy fits, with that scale? It fits yeah, really it totally good. Does. Like that's how they like if they were to meet, that, that's it. That's yeah, the size. He <laughs> will be looking down on them. Yeah, like, that's pretty so, cool. Man, I kind of yeah. wish we had a Doom guy. I think there's a new All Doom right. guy figure that's going to be coming out soon. All right, let's see who else we're looking at here. We have a Mezco Toys uh, Sovereign Knight Batman towering over Batman here. Let's look here. Whoa. Yep, as, <laughs> as it should a, be. He's really That's tall. Like... Man, of course, let's not even compare. we got an SH figure. It's Goku here. Uh, we have Kaioken Goku right nah, there. Yeah, it's Kaioken Goku. Yeah, that's Kaioken Goku right there. Probably that's like yeah, if they yeah, were that's to meet about too. Right. That's about <laughs> right. Like he's just a bit, he's just a big guy. He's just tall. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. We also have a Marvel Legends Spider Man retro series Spider Man. There has to be someone taller than him. Let's try oh. to. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. You're like, oh, why did you oh, bring like... this guy out, right? <laughs> Frankie, I brought this guy out because we need someone bigger than Master Chief. Oh yeah. At. Uh, a Marvel Legends oh, that's the Marvel build a figure um, Thanos with the armor and stuff. No, nope, so. that's that seems right. Yeah, that's like, about right. Well, I have to say he scales really well with other action figures from different different lines. To my surprise, so here's another SH figure that's right there. That is UI Goku perfected UI Goku is what it's called in the manga. Now that mm. yes, you see, there's something new. Uh, yeah, so let's go into articulation. Let's start with the feet. Frankie, take it away. Let's see what we're looking at here when it comes to right, articulation. His articulation. The feet is pretty good. Uh, here, um, let, me, let me let me let me take this. Let me take this off. Let me take this out of the video. Ah, that's right there. Got it. That's okay. Got them. Got them. Okay. There you go. Now you're free to use both hands. <laughs> All right. So All right. Let's look at articulation. Let's look at the feet. All right. The feet's pretty good. I mean, they go. They're on a ball peg. As you can oh, see wow. right there. That came off really easily. Yeah, well, it's not. Oh, yeah, wow. it snaps yeah, in, it snaps on, right but right it's not, not loose or nothing. It's very tight. Uh, tight. Perfect yep. tightness. Okay, yeah, oh, up and down toe. there at the toe. Yeah, yeah nice. toe articulation. A little bit of a pivot. Let's zoom in there. Let's zoom in. Let's see that nice toe Your articulation. Toe. Ooh, very nice. Very smooth, too. Mm -hmm. Which you might surprise. Let's see if we get the focus on there. Looking very nice. Okay. How is it? Is that a double jointed knee I'm seeing right there? It is. Right, and my one complaint on about that. Okay. What's your complaint here? Look at that. That don't look Ooh, right. That don't look right. Yeah. Let's see what we're talking about here. Let's see that. Ooh. So it seems like <laughs> he, yeah. did, he has like a really long knee yeah. right there. So it does. And this is like yeah. Thousand Toys like signature knee. Yeah. Because the Dante figure also has that type of knee. Right. I mean... I guess the payoff here is even though it doesn't look right, we're dealing with a super yeah. beefy. You could hide it, like, right? If you put them in a knee pose, you right. pretty much hide it. And I think the the super beefiness of that knee shows that it's going to be If you get it like that, ninety degrees, that's not a problem right there. Yeah, that. but when you go for a full on bend on that, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. ooh, 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 that ooh. just doesn't look. It doesn't look right at certain angles, yeah. but I think Once you can I put hide it. it. Yeah, yeah, you can hide it. It looks all right. All right, how about the thigh? Do we have a thigh swivel? It has a thigh swivel. Ooh, nice. Really nice thigh swivel. Very nice. Kicks, kicks up. up. Some kicks up. Kicks back really. Can we do a side really kick? Right. Side. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, the skirts up here, they move up and down. Oh, so, when so you they do, thought of that. Nice. Yeah. You can see that. It's very yep. cool. So that's yeah, almost up. an articulation point in itself. Yep. That's pretty cool. So you can have them doing kicks. And the armor doesn't get in the way. No, no. That's very nice. Okay. Uh, ab crunch. How many articulation points are we looking at in the I believe center there? He's got the upper and then he's got. Okay, the so he has a little mid. lower. Okay. Yeah. Can we get him doing some some uh, ab crunches there? Oh, 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 oh gotta get that six. Get him. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Two. Three. I should be. No down. armor is getting in the way, to <laughs> no. my surprise. That no, is quite amazing. Okay. Oh, we're about to get to that, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> At least I'm for one of them. That's yeah, how about out. the shoulder like, joint? What do we do? The doing? shoulders are butterfly? pretty good. It has a really nice butterfly joint, as you can see right there. Ooh, it beautiful. comes out far. Especially like when you want him to hold the... Uh, he's got uh, handguns. Okay. The two handguns. So he can, you know, bam, do that, see? Oh, wow. So he can properly sword. hold his weapon correctly. Yep. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And then this has also a little articulation, the flap, okay. so when you... Pull it out like that doesn't hinder. Wow, they really did. Think they of everything. they thought a lot. Wow, that's he nice. does have a bicep swivel, which is also nice. Cool. I love when figures have bicep swivel. Yep, and it's got a double giant elbow. 
I think, it, I think it's just a singular one. Singular? Okay. Yeah. Just like the Dante. But it does swivel. Okay. Oh, wow. Yep. That's nice. All the way around. Whoa. And then the ball peg, it moves up and down, but here's what's So let's thing. talk about this. Let's start. Let's it take is it away. so oh. tiny. Mm. It looks like it could break. Yeah. Frankie and <laughs> so, I were talking about this right before the video, and he said this is a like, major issue. Eh. <laughs> so, yeah. yikes. But when exchanging the other hands, there is, like, no issues. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's a point, I guess, but you never know, like... If, Put it in the wrong way, it could break. Yeah. I have seen images like that. And it's okay. like, oh my God. And then this one's a little bit. So you loose. can say that you really need to be careful with the wrist. Yes. Okay. Especially for the money you got paid for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got the torso, torso, the arms, and then the head. Nice. All the way. It's got Thousand Toys also has like this neck joint. Okay, that so that's moves. like in the chest. Yeah, it's in the chest. It goes down. Okay. Just like Dante. So you can do a full blown it looking could, down. Yep. That's nice. You could even have them look up at the stars. Oh, that's nice. Look up at the halo. Yeah. <laughs> right? Look up at the halo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks really cool. Okay. Um. So I have to say, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Let's look at the Mr. Chief looking up there at the halo. Ooh, looking mm -hmm. very nice. And uh, yeah, I have to say, he's very nicely articulated. Uh, let's do some poses. Let's go for a front kick. Frankie, can we do a front kick kicking down doors? Yeah. Boom. All right. Boom. Oh, that's going to fall. Taking out the flood. No problem. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, let's, uh, we got, <laughs> let's do uh, some side kicks. Give me a side kick. <laughs> Getting rid of those little grunts. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, okay, let's let's go outside of the video game. Let's do a Shoryuken. There we go. We're going to do a Shoryuken. First, we need to get the we other fist, fist in. back in here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Shoryuken. Yeah. Wow, yep. sure you can test right there. And there you have it. I'd say he can pose in almost anything you want him to. And look at him in his fighting pose. You don't need mm -hmm. no guns, no assault rifles, no pistols, no no plasma swords, no nothing like that. He could just beat you up in that Mjolnir suit. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Let's go to the top can. Let's see what we're dealing with when it comes to accessories. Take us away, Frankie. What are we dealing with here? All right, so he does have his, well, not really his, but the enemy's, uh, the plasma sword. The plasma sword. Yeah. Right? And it comes with two hands, left and right, to hold them. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, oh, so he has hand. designated hands. How many yeah. hands are we dealing with? We there? got one, two, three, four sets. Oh, okay. Right? So eight hands total? Yeah, nice. eight hands total. So we got that. We got a salute hand. <clears throat> Ooh, salute the chief. Yep. Yep, yep. Like there. That's nice. That's okay. Cool. We got the salute hand. We have this uh, for the gun. It's a holster that you put on his side. Really? <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll probably demonstrate that. Okay, we'll in demonstrate a bit. that in a bit. And then uh what does he have? He has open hands, you know, to hold the the, yeah, the, the battle front rifle. Hand. Right. So we and have then, speaking you know, of Yeah. We got the battle rifle. Very nice. I believe it's a battle rifle, right? Yeah. I think that's the battle or rifle. Assault rifle. One of those. Yeah, one of those rifles. Them. It's been a while. And uh, we got that. And then we have two Ooh. of the best <laughs> gun in the game. Yeah, Kimbo. <laughs> Uh, pistols that you can zoom in and snipe little grunts on the yep. field. <laughs> I know. Oh my god, that was <laughs> good times. Uh, that was good times. Good yeah. times. Good times. That's pretty much it. And... So we're dealing with his basic set. We're not dealing with the sniper rifle or anything like mm -mm. that. Um, man, but that's fine. That's fine. Maybe we'll get some more Halo Master Chiefs from different Halo games. So... Yeah, I really do hope that they do make like Halo three and four. Those are like my favorite armors. Uh, yeah, that yeah. would be really cool. So let's go to the front cam. Frankie, let's outfit this guy. Who are we at? What are we outfitting with him first? All right, well, let's do. Let's show off him. I've only holding... played up to like Halo Two. Did we ever see the chief without his mask? No, they always no? tease it. Yeah, they always tease it, right? They always tease it. Yeah. This thing. Well, I guess no, we're just gonna have off. to finish the fight later on. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Frankie just outfitted him right now with the plasma sword. And look at that. That is sick. Let's look closer at the sword. What are we dealing with here? Looks like with, this is kind of like a translucent like blade. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it totally is. It's like a trans, like plastic that they yeah, use. Yeah, that's really nice. So it's a little bit clear, as you can see. You can yeah. see my finger right through it. That's really nice. You even got the little crackling effects going on right there. I have to say this is really nice. Uh, Frankie had a little bit of issue plugging that in, but you know what? That, this is a brand new figure, so you probably are going to have to work that in. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I have to say that looks really nice. So, yeah. anything you want to say about this plasma sword? It looks amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's it just, looks cool. It looks great for those one shot kills yep. in multiplayer. Exactly. As it falls as off. It fall off yep. <laughs> Come on, chief. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we are going to move on to the next accessory. Oh, right, son. Oh my gosh! Frankie just uh, put on the battle rifle on Mister Master Chief here. Yes, nostalgia all the way around. Oh my gosh, this is Amen. the best looking Master Chief. Just look at that. That is a masterpiece, if you could say. Let's look at that. I felt the airsoft version of the battle rifle. That thing is humongous. Mm. It is only made for Master Chief. Yeah. Let's be real. I don't Dang. even know how the Marines do it. <laughs> yeah, in the, seriously. In the game. Yeah, it, it looks so good on him, but when the Marines hold the gun, yeah. it's like freaking huge. Wow. I have to say, this looks really cool. Look, if you even look here on the gun, you can see the um, the HUD of the where the oh. number should be when he's shooting it. Oh, yeah, it's really even cool. painted blue. Yeah. That's really nice. I have to say looks very very clean last but not least i think we are almost done here my friend let's get these pistols on i know it's gonna take a while because it's tough uh i guess we're gonna come up with that in the conclusion we'll be right back yeah we'll be right we'll be right back we will be right back all right i'll be right back something yeah something like that all right let's zoom out all right frankie has fully outfitted him with two pistols and we have the battle rifle in the back. Let's talk about this. So, uh, did you? I didn't know that he came with that, but he has a little hip holster right there, and that's the second pistol right there. That looks really, really nice. And uh, once again, Frankie, can you show me what the battle rifle? How do you attach that on the back? Well, you just take off this little square piece or uh-huh. triangle piece. Oh, so there's here. two. There's two, yeah. You can have it on oh, either so side. Oh, you can even have it on either side. Yeah. That's nice. Once you take it off, you got the hole here and the gun has a hidden peg. Okay. You just unpeg that like like so and you just stick it back on his back. Wow. Yeah. It's beautiful. Easily yeah. one of my favorite Master Chief figures. Oh, yeah. This, this beats <laughs> yeah. McFarlane. Yeah, Master this, Master this beats McFarlane but it also... The price is really steep. 100 to 124 is how much this guy is going for online. And who knows, if you don't pick him up soon, he might go up in price. So let's come up with a conclusion. Frank is, Frankie, take us away with that conclusion. Like I say on my videos, on my channel, Best Rookin, there are no words when it comes to some of these action figures. He's just, for me, he's it's perfect. 8 out of 10. <laughs> I want to say whoa, perfect. Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. 8. <laughs> Yeah, uh, not nine. yeah, okay. Why not nine? Let, let's talk about let's, just, let's okay. discuss this. Why not nine? Well, overall, overall, the design of the figure and the functionality is great. It's just the pegs. Yeah. So we're talking about the the little pegs. tiny pegs. Yeah. yeah we're talking really about scary. Pieces, right. Really scary to handle. I mean, look you, how tiny that is. You need to have patience. Yeah. You have to pay, have patience. You got to yeah. really dig it in there. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't know what you're doing, I suggest. Uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I honestly can't, maybe heat up the hand with some hot water so it go, so it's nice and uh, the plastic's a little bit softer and then you can plug that in really nice. Uh, we struggled a little bit in the video trying to get those hands in, but you know, once we got it in, we worked it in, we played with it just a little bit to make sure that this it's a lot easier the next time. So for the people who bought this and were like, oh, I can't get the hands in, be patient with it. Get some hot water ready and heat up the hand, not the peg, the hand, and make sure that that goes in nicely. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I, I am a loss for words. Easily one of the right? best <laughs> Master Chief figures I have ever seen in my life. You rated 9 out of 10? Oh, yeah, 9 out of 10. Oh, okay. Easily. The, the pegs are kind of just annoying, I agree. I mean, it comes with everything. Come on. Look, mm-hmm. holster, rifle goes in the back. I think the only thing that would would make this a ten, I would gladly pay and agree with me or disagree with me, mm-hmm. fifty bucks more for a complete weapon set. I'm talking the sniper rifle, the oh. bazooka, heck yeah, all that stuff. Just like they did with a thousand toys, Dante. They yeah. have like deluxe versions. Exactly. Yes, I would have done would that to a, have. The I would sniper love rifle. A, a deluxe version of this figure right now. The He's hammer, pretty, like this is like you playing Halo One for the first two hours or so. Mm-hmm. You get the pistol, battle rifle, and then you get all the cool stuff later, but. I would have loved a deluxe version to completely kit him out. 
and I know this is asking for a lot. And it, the warthog would have been like something I'd pay two hundred bucks for. Maybe. Oh, all right. Maybe, all right. Maybe. Okay. I know that's a little asking a little much. Now's the toys. Can you make us one, please? I mean, there are some, but you gotta track them down. Yeah, you might have to pay. Yeah. <laughs> I would have loved the warthog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I think that's it. Frankie, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Uh, thank you for having me on your channel. Yeah, no like, yeah. Uh, you're welcome back. <laughs> nice, nice. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always going to know when we post new videos. This guy is in stock for $124.99 at dstarcom And I think that's it. Go ahead and put in your plugs, Miss Trugan. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe uh, for my man here, uh, DStars, Daxter. Yep. Also, look me up, Best Strokin. I'll put his uh, name I, down I, in the description. Yep. Instagram, all that. I have pictured, oh, I have pictures of this guy and all the figures I have reviewed and more video game contents on the way, too. Yeah, I know. Cool, I've been, cool. Yeah, yeah, that YouTube game is a hard grind. <laughs> it is, especially when you're trying to mix everything, like the yeah. way I'm doing it. But, you know, I, it's a hobby. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Later.